A car of mass M accelerates from rest through a measured track distance capital L in time capital T with the engine operating at a constant power uh, capital P. Part A calculate the traveling time capital T in terms of M capital P and V sub T which is the velocity at time uh, capital T. Part B calculate the total distance capital L in terms of M capital P and V sub T the velocity at time capital T. Okay, so let's start with uh, noting the meaning of having a constant power. Since the power is constant, we can say that the average power must be equal to the instantaneous power. The instantaneous power is equal to the average power. And this power, the instantaneous power, you would normally calculate by looking at uh, d bar w dt. Now this is a small detail here. There is no such thing as dw, which would mean work final minus work initial. This you will learn in thermodynamics that work is a transfer variable. You cannot have uh, the state of work. So uh, this is basically why we have this bar introduced here to note that it's a small amount of work being done. It doesn't mean work final minus work initial. Anyway, so this is equal to the average power, which is the work done in time delta t. W over delta t, this is going to be equal to the average power. Okay, and delta t is basically a capital T, the travel time. Okay, so therefore we have a work done equal to the constant power times the time T, capital T, which by work kinetic energy theorem is equal to the, uh, the change in the kinetic energy. So this is the net uh, work done by the net force on the system. That's W. So that's the net force, uh, the work done by the net force on the system, which is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So this is our work kinetic energy theorem okay so uh, in this case the final kinetic energy at time capital T will be equal to 1 over 2 m v sub capital T squared and the initial kinetic energy is zero because the particle uh, starts from rest so we start from rest. Therefore, using the work kinetic energy theorem, capital P times capital T is equal to 1 over 2 m v sub capital T squared, which gives us for the time T, capital T, m v sub T squared divided by 2 capital P. Now the question was asking us calculate T in terms of M, P and V. So here is M, V and P. Therefore, this answer is acceptable. In part B, we want to know the total distance L traveled in terms of M, P and V, T. Now we note that for an arbitrary time uh, greater than zero and less or equal to uh, capital T, uh, time T is basically 
equal to using this relationship we found in part a m v is a function of t uh, squared divided by 2p so this allows us to calculate the speed of the particle as a function of time so v of t is basically uh, 2pt 2 capital P T over M square root okay and that is basically the rate of change of the position the X uh, DT so uh, the total distance traveled Delta X which is equal to capital L the total distance traveled and it is equal to delta x equals l is equal to the integral from time t equals 0 to capital T v of t dt so this is from t equals 0 to capital T 2pt over m square root dt and if we take 2p over m the time independent uh, constants outside square root 2p over m then we're left with this integral of square root t dt and the integral of square root t is t to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves and this will be evaluated between time 0 and capital T so this will be equal to 2 over 3 square root 2p divided by m capital T to the power 3 over 2 and that's equal to L now we're going to play with this and note the result we have found for capital T in part A. So capital L is equal to 2 over 3 square root 2p over m. 2p over m square root. We substitute the result we found in part A. m vt square over 2p. and this to the power 3 over 2 so this is going to give us 2 over 3 and now let's put everything in square root 2p over m was already inside the square root now we have m cube divided by 2p cube this is all inside the square root and then we have vt square uh, to the power 3 over 2 that's basically vt cube so we see that this 2p will get rid of this uh, 3 so this is going to become a square and this m will get rid of this 3 we will make it a square so we are left with m square over 2p parentheses squared in square root so that's basically uh, 2m vt cube divided by uh, 6p. Now 2 and 6 will simplify. So the final answer is m vt cube divided by 3p is L. okay so basically uh, we have used the concept of constant power which is the work done in time interval t uh, and work kinetic energy theorem to calculate t in terms of the mass the final uh, velocity at time capital t and the constant power and for time uh, an arbitrary time between zero and capital t we know that 
the constant power will tell us that uh, velocity is changing with t to the power one half, which is dx dt. So we can integrate v of t dt from zero to t to calculate the total distance traveled, capital L, uh, the measured track distance, capital L, and we can substitute for capital T the result we have found in part A to obtain our final answer, mvt cube over 3p.